So you are thinking of making a move to Baker in Denver, Colorado. If so, you found the right video, the right channel, the right guy, because in today's video, I'm gonna give you all the things I think you should know about living in or moving to Baker. Then I'm gonna give you all the places to go in the form of my favorite uh, local coffee spot, food spot, and fun local thing to do in Baker so you can see uh, this is the area that's right for you. But the whole time, I'm gonna be throwing up tons of B-roll of the homes here, the businesses, the streets, uh, so you can get a feel of what it looks like to walk these streets and live in this area. If you are new to my channel, what is up? My name is Tori Drake. I'm a local Denver realtor. That means I love making this video. I love Denver, I love Coloradans. And I would love to help you with any real estate needs if you got any uh, contact information in the YouTube description. So feel free to hit me up. And if you are making a move to Denver, exploring neighborhoods, I've got a whole, uh, I have a things to know places to go video series for every single community making in Denver. And I'm only making more and more. So check out the playlist for it. And uh, you can look at all the communities that make up Denver. All right, guys, let's go ahead and rock and roll. And if you dig the content, hit like, hit subscribe. Thank you so much. Let's go. So where is Baker? And what does that mean in proximity to some of the hot spots that make up Denver, Colorado? So you are south of downtown for Baker itself. And from downtown, you're about 15 minutes away. Denver Tech Center is about 20 minutes away. The base of the mountains, third to 45 minutes boulder 45 minutes away and golden 20 to 25 minutes that covers where baker is let's go ahead and jump into things to know number one it has a like grungy rebellious artistic vibe i like to make the joke that if ripped really cool ripped denim jeans were uh, a neighborhood in denver it would be baker it's very artistic uh neighborhood a lot of like um, a lot of musicians like to live here, artists, as you'll see some of the B-roll I'm throwing up on a Broadway. There's one of the main roads that runs through here. There's a lot of really cool local restaurants, coffee shops, just shops overall. Um, they really embrace the arts here, like the rebel vibe, the grungy vibe. The vibe here is very intentional. People in Baker here love this vibe. The same way rock and roll is like, yeah, we're rock and roll, baby. We don't apologize for it. That's like a lot of the attitude uh, here in Baker. It's a really uh, fun spot. There's also lots of murals on some of the buildings as you drive around. So once again, artsy, 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 and it's a cool vibe. And one of the things I like about uh, like the vibe here in Baker is it's not trying to be high end. It's not trying to be uh, on the bougier side. I'm not using the word negative, like, like downtown is. Um, it it's really does embrace that like rebellious energy, that bit of a grungy vibe to it. With that can come some what people may consider like a bit dirtier, especially on Broadway, things like that. Um, but yeah, that's what you, you get sometimes when you're living like that rock and roll life, I suppose. Thing to know number two, it is a very walkable part of Denver. Both the uh, Santa Fe and Broadway have tons of local coffee shops, breweries, restaurants, uh, shops, art, uh, art galleries. It's really walkable. You can do it so much on Santa Fe and so much on Broadway. Those are busier roads that run through. So expect, you know, as you know, are you walking out of all those cool places? is it's gonna be a really busy road right there. Um, but once again, that's a lot of the energy that Baker brings. It's just a high energy, I don't wanna say high energy, but energetic part of town. And of course, with that, parking can be really tough, especially if you're hitting up anything on Broadway or Santa Fe. Thing to know number three, you probably already noticed, is there's lots of older homes with character here. So if you dig old, unique, quirky, fun homes, um, Baker's gonna be really great. There are lots, with that comes smaller lots. The homes are gonna be more tightly packed together, like these ones here, uh, there. I mean, all of them, as you can see from the B-roll, smaller lots overall, because you're near the city. Uh, Baker's really cool older homes. Now, in some areas, uh, the older homes are like immaculate, right? Like in Wash Park West, or Platte Park, older home, all those homes are pretty much gonna be immaculate. I will say Baker, there are gonna be some older homes that are less well taken care of. Um, I'm gonna see if I can find some on the B-roll to put up and these are homes are not as good of examples because these homes are, and I'm walking by are pretty well taken care of. But once again, going back to what I talked about earlier, that grunge rebellious vibe, with that can come some people who may not take care of the homes as much, especially when you consider about, I believe it's about 60% of um, people who live in Baker rent. And uh, renters typically don't ca take care of the properties as much as a homeowner would. Homeowner would. Overall, you can get some really well taken care of homes here. A lot of them are, as you've seen, but there are gonna be some that just aren't as well taken care of in Baker. Thing to know number four, getting around is actually pretty convenient. For example, I-25 uh, for north or south is nearby, so getting on that to go north or south, pretty convenient. Six is right above you to take you east or west. Broadway, you can take straight into downtown is a bus line on Santa Fe in Broadway. 
odd way. So getting around is pretty darn convenient in this area. Thing to know number five, Colorado has tons of parks. Denver has tons of parks. Baker does not have tons of parks. It has like two parks and they're both uh, pretty small. But once again, you're like 30 to 45 minutes away from the mountains and you're not super far away from Cheeseman Park. Yeah, yeah you're not close. Um, but you don't have immediate access to parks. Thing to know number six, for being so close to downtown of such a freaking cool neighborhood, a uh, unique neighborhood, you have some pretty convenient amenities. On the south side of Baker, you have, for example, Sam's Club, Safeway, Office Depot, uh, a lot of shopping to be done, this errand wise on the south side. So you get almost like this punk rock lifestyle in Baker, but you're like, but if you want some of this convenience of amenities for errands and shopping, you can just go south and you got what you need. Last but not least, things to know number seven, schools, not super highly rated. There's a lot of laws in place of what I can and can't say about schools. I'm gonna keep it super brief. Hit me up if you got more questions. Um, but overall, the grade, that's like a C plus uh, from niche.com, I believe. So overall, school's not great. I'm just going to leave it at that. Well, guys, that does cover things to know about Baker. Before we move on to places to go, I'd love to give you a friendly invitation to reach out if you have any questions about this area or anything about Denver, Colorado, the greater Denver area. I have so many resources on my YouTube channel. I post on Instagram and TikTok every day also about this, these areas. Um, but if you'd like to just chat or have questions, feel free to hit me up. I'm super low pressure. Like actually, zero pressure. No pressure ever. That's not how I roll. Um, no one likes those people. Anyway, let's get to places to go where can you go for a bomb cup of coffee food and fun local thing to do okay so coffee this one's gonna be really interesting they got to explain it because as you're driving there you'll be like why did he recommend this to me uh go to copper door coffee roasters off of santa fe uh on the on the west side of baker now you're gonna be going up santa fe in this very industrial part of town not pretty to look at on that side of baker however there's this really cool little complex called the yard that is like a bunch of like warehouses out of nowhere that you can totally never miss if you just drive right past it and turn into it, park in there. There's like so there's a few breweries there. There's like a gym. Um, there's like an art gallery, a barbecue spot, um, brewery, if I didn't say that already. And there's like really cool, like those, you know, those lights that everyone likes hanging above you. That's uh, a really cool area west on the west side of Baker that you would totally miss. And there's Copper Door Coffee Roasters. Um, and the coffee there is really, really good. That's where you get coffee. You're gonna have to drive to it. It's a little bit out of the way. Um, but just the overall, once you're there, there's so much you can do in there. It's really cool. Okay, food. For sure, Denver Biscuit Co. off of Broadway. Um, they do so many biscuit dishes. Like just, oh my God, I'm, I'm sure I'm throwing up some photos of their website and food. Uh, I've been there, went there with my uncle one time and it was just really fun. Uh, great environment, high energy environment. It's a really great spot and the biscuits, they're just unique food there. You're not really gonna go anywhere else and have like, 40 biscuit options to choose from. That covers coffee and food. What is your fun local thing to do? I'm gonna give you two options. Number one is Punch Bowl Social. It has, it's just this really big, like Dave and Buster's, but way, way cooler, way cooler. And local to here, it has bowling, arcade games, karaoke, uh, table games, shuffleboard, Jenga, cornhole, bocce ball, so much. And the thing is, is people know Punch Bowl Social for those things, but they're, and their drinks as well. But the food, is, they have an award-winning chef there and the food is honestly so, so good. And people go there for the game and don't think a lot about the food there. The food is awesome. Definitely plan to eat there. Plan to get a few drinks. You can do so much there. You can also host events. My brokers held an event there one time. It was such a blast. Everyone had such a cool time. Um, overall, that place is just like a slam dunk, like award-winning chef cooking the food. These really great games, great facility, relatively easy parking. Sometimes they have a parking lot, so I'll give them that. Uh, it's just small. And then, yeah, just a great spot. And then your bonus thing to do is check out the Mayan Theater. Um, it is this, they play a lot of indie films there. There's really cool theater off of Broadway as well that plays um, just a lot of indie films you probably never would have heard of or that the main theaters aren't playing up. It's really cool. They really have just this sick aesthetic with like the Mayan thing going on. It feels like it's really old uh, architectural building. Very cool spot. Well, that is things to, oh my God, that's right. That is things to know places to go baker edition once again if you have any questions my contact information is below my name is tori drake i'm a local denver realtor that means i love making these videos but i love helping Colorado and denverites even more so if you're moving here i live here have questions please feel free to reach out i'm happy to help you with whatever i can consider checking me out on instagram and tiktok i am crazy active on there every single day posting fun and sassy stuff i think so at least if you liked the video it's a selfish ask and please hit like hit subscribe it helps me so so much and i'll see you guys on the next one